Hey everybody, thank you for clicking on my I Am Kratom video. Um, in this video, I am just going to share you my story and my experiences with the all natural supplement Kratom, also known as Kratom. Okay, so let me start by introducing myself. My name is Joanne, and I am a mother of two autistic children. I am a stay at home mom, wife, and teacher. I was born with a condition called scoliosis, which is curvature of the spine. And this is what causes all of my back pain. Some days would be so bad that I would just be hunched over for the entire day. And now we're going to skip to the year 2006 when I found out I was pregnant with my daughter. Now when I found out I was pregnant, I had to quit my job because of my scoliosis. The doctors wanted to keep a close eye on me to make sure that the extra weight in my stomach did not cause any more damage to my back. And throughout my pregnancy, I did have difficulties with my back due to the extra weight. At about seven months of pregnancy, I started having contractions and went into premature labor. When I went to the ER, they checked me in and verified that I was in labor and then they gave me a medication to stop my labor and sent me on my way. Unfortunately, on my way home, I was involved in a serious car accident and ended up right back in the emergency room. After getting them to check to make sure my daughter was okay, I ended up leaving the hospital with a broken arm, stitches in my hand, and more back problems. After I had my daughter, I slipped into postpartum depression. I had it all and I had it bad. I had the insomnia, the pain, the eating disorder, the depression, the anxiety. They tried to treat it with several different medications and nothing seemed to work. Not only did it not work, but the medication brought on its own side effects and health issues. Several months later, I found out that I was pregnant again. During my pregnancy with my son, it seemed that everything that was wrong seemed to just get worse. Again, the doctors kept a close eye on me, scared that if I got too big, that my back would be unable to support the extra weight. After having my son, I was told that I had to get my tubes um, cut and burned because my body would not be able to go through another pregnancy. And after having my son, the postpartum depression seemed to be even worse than before. The feeling of depression where you just want to go in a corner and hide from the rest of the world. And there was way more than just the depression. There was the anxiety. There was the insomnia, never being able to sleep, the back pain, the constant nausea. And the doctors couldn't understand why I was going through all of this. And of course, they put me through more medications and therapies and tests. But I was still waking up every morning feeling nauseous. I still was unable to eat. And in response to this, they just threw more medication at me. And the more medication they gave me, the worse the symptoms got. And with the medication came thoughts of suicide. I was also unable to control my emotions. The thoughts that went through my head were very dark. All of a sudden, I had demons living inside my mind. And being unable to sleep did not help my situation anymore. In fact, the medication they gave me to help with my insomnia actually had me walking around the house, speaking in different languages, and making no sense at all. I would hallucinate, and I would be unable to control my thoughts. And after about eight years going through all this insanity, and also going through tests, and doctors, and therapies, and even surgery, that is, until my insurance was gone, and once my insurance was gone, nobody really wanted to help me, and I had to stop all the medications that I was on. Now, the withdrawals from the antidepressants alone include anxiety, 
depression and mood swings, dizziness and balancing problems, electric shock sensations, fatigue, flu-like symptoms, headaches, loss of coordination, muscle spasms, nausea, nightmares, tremors, trouble sleeping, and vomiting. And this doesn't even include the withdrawals that I had from the medication they gave me for my insomnia and also for my eating disorder. Now, my husband, who has been with me since the beginning, um, couldn't take it no more. He got tired of sitting back and watching me suffer. So, out of desperation, my husband went online and did hours and hours of research trying to find a natural alternative that might be able to help me. And that is how he found Kratom, also known as Kratom. Kratom has helped me beat my depression. It has helped with my insomnia. I am now able to sleep. Since I started taking Kratom, I no longer have the nightmares or the dark thoughts in my head. It has helped calm my mind and it has also helped me to focus more. My muscles are more relaxed and I am no longer having muscle spasms. Kratom has also helped my appetite. I am now eating more and I am no longer nauseous. It has also given me a lot more energy. Kratom has also helped with all the side effects that I had from my anxiety. I can now confidently say that Kratom has helped improve my overall health and well-being. It has helped me to be able to enjoy my family, my kids, and my life. I'm able to get out of the bed in the morning pain-free and happy. Thanks to Kratom, I am able to be a better teacher and mother to my children, a better wife to my husband, and an all-around better person. Now, me personally, I have not come across any side effects or any withdrawals. I want to thank you all for taking the time to listen to my story. If Kratom has helped you in any way, please share, comment, uh, make your own story. Let everybody know how Kratom has helped you. Again, thank you for watching my video and I hope you all have a fantastic day. And remember, if at all possible, keep it all natural.